two yellow friends. Molly is a mixed traffic engine. She loves working on the Fat Controllers Railway. She can pull both coaches and trucks. She's also very proud of her yellow coat of paint and knows it makes her special. But Molly can be a very shy engine and sometimes feel put down by the bigger engines. Come on now, Molly. Get out of my way. Private engine coming through. <sighs> Rebecca is also a very special engine. She's a big, strong engine and loves her new home on Soda. She loves helping out with the express duties and enjoys talking to her friends. But she's also a friend to every engine she meets. And like Molly, she is also painted yellow. Feels like the sunshine of the line. But neither Rebecca or Molly had ever met, nor had seen each other, so neither of them knew of each other yet. Until one day, Molly popped into the yards outside of Nafford Station to take on coal and water. The fat controller came over to see her. Ah, uh, Molly, right on time. I have a very important job for you. Hello, sir. Thank you, sir. What's the job, sir? I need you to take that goods train to the wharf. It's full of supplies that are needed for the narrow gauge railway. Colin will be waiting to unload the trucks. Yes, sir. I can do that, sir. Then, when you come back, Molly, I will have a very special job for you. Oh, yes, sir. I look forward to that, sir. Good engine. Now. Who can I get to the box on the Molly puffed to the water tower to take on water. As she was having a drink, Percy arrived. He was coming to collect his trucks and take them to the coaling plant. Hello Molly! All ready for today's work I see! Not yet Percy. I have to fill up on water and then I need coal as well. Oh, up now! Express engine coming through! I need water too, Gordon. Don't worry, I'm nearly done. No, oh, I can't be kept waiting! The Express is the most important train on Sodor! Gordon, be patient please! Molly is going as fast as she can! <sighs> Here you go, Gordon. You can use it now. At last! Molly puffed under the coal hopper to fill up her tender. Percy was feeling worried for his friend. <sighs> Why is Gordon always like this? I'm just filling up on water. Don't take him too seriously. He just likes to think he's the most important. But at least you can fill up your coal tender without him moaning at you. Ah, hurry up, Molly! Engines need their call too, you know. James, I won't be a moment. I've just stopped under here. Well, maybe you should have thought about getting your call earlier. Then I wouldn't be complaining about waiting for you. Oh, do be patient, please, James. Molly won't be a moment, so just wait your turn. There you go, James. Finally! Now I can fill up my coal tender! Honestly, James! Molly backed up to her trucks that were waiting for her in a siding. As her driver was coupling her up to the trucks, Percy puffed alongside her. He could see Molly was looking and feeling uneasy with herself. Percy knew what was wrong. Don't let Gordon and James get to you, Molly. They always want to get in on something first. They just don't understand how special and important you are as a big engine too. But I don't feel that special or important, Percy. In fact, I don't feel comfortable being around the big engines. They make me feel very small. Not all 
all big engines are like that, Molly. Murdoch is a big engine, but he is a friendly engine. So is Neville and Hero. Oh, and Rebecca is friendly too. Rebecca? Who's Rebecca? Rebecca is a very happy engine. She's very kind and she has a very big heart. And she is everyone's friend. And like you, she's painted yellow too. Molly was intrigued to hear this, but was worried about something. Do you think Rebecca would like to be my friend? Of course she will, Molly. Rebecca would love to meet you. I'm sure you two will get along like a house on fire. <laughs> Thank you, Percy. I'll be sure to keep a lookout for Rebecca as I puff along the line. Come on, Molly. It's time for you to go. Colin will be waiting for you. Oh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. Goodbye, Percy. See you soon. Bye, Molly. I'm sure you and Rebecca will become great friends. Percy, what are you doing dawdling about? Your fans are waiting to be delivered to Cronk Station. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Molly made her way towards the wharf with her goods train. She was excited about going to the wharf and seeing the little engines. I will make sure this delivery makes it to Colin. This will make him feel really useful. But I do hope I make friends with Rebecca. Out of the way, Molly! Express coming through! <coughs> Gordon! Then she started to worry about something. I hope Rebecca isn't like Gordon, or James, or any other ignorant engine I know. Meanwhile, Percy was delivering his vans to Bromwell Station. He came to a set of signals and saw the signal was red. Rebecca was there too. She was pulling her passenger train to Vickerstown Station. She was always pleased to see Percy. Hello, Percy. You look very happy about something. Hello, Rebecca. I'm delivering these vans to Cronk Station. And I helped to make my friend Molly feel better. Molly? Who's Molly? She's a mixed traffic engine. She handles goods trains as well as passenger trains. And she's painted yellow, just like you. <gasps> Another yellow engine? Wow! I'd love to meet her. She's making a delivery to the wharf at the moment. But she will be back at Nafford Station soon. So will I. I hear the Fat Controller has a special job for me after I have made this run of passengers to Fickerstown. I can't wait to meet Molly. Molly will be looking forward to meeting you too, Rebecca. She is a very nice engine. Then both signals changed to green and both engines went on their way again. Oh, Rebecca! Molly is a shy engine, so just be careful not to frighten her, please. Don't worry, Percy. I will make her feel welcome as you made me on my first day. Wow, we Another engine to make friends with! Molly sounds like a great engine! Oh, maybe I'll get a chance to meet Molly as I head back to Nafford Station later on! Yay! Me! Soon Molly arrives at the wharf with her trucks. Colin the Crane was pleased to meet her. Hello Molly! Thank you for delivering these trucks! I can start unloading them for Freddy and Mighty Mac to collect. Hello, Colin. That's all right. Now, I'd better get going. Oh? What's going on? The Fat Controller has a very special job waiting for me, and Percy tells me about an engine called Rebecca, who is yellow just like me. Wow! That is exciting. Just think, you two could become two yellow friends. <laughs> Oh yes, <laughs> that's a good one, Colin. Well, I'd better go now. Goodbye, Colin. Goodbye, Molly. <laughs> Two yellow friends. What will I come up with next? Molly left the wharf and set off back to Nathan. She was thinking about her very important job and wondered what it could be. 
Maybe I'll be taking the children to Lower Tidmouth Beach. Or taking a group of special visitors to Lord Callan Castle. Oh! Maybe I'll be taking guests to a wedding. That would be exciting. Further up the track, Molly was approaching a junction that led back to the main line. But she could see a signal moon waving a red flag. She had to stop. Sorry Molly, but the signals are broken. You'll have to wait until the express train has gone by. Molly knew she had no choice. As she waited for the green flag from the signalman, she heard a whistle she had never heard before. Huh? Who's that? It was Rebecca. She was pulling her express train back to Natford. Rebecca raced past Molly waiting on the next line. Molly was shocked when she saw Rebecca. Bust my buffers! Was that Rebecca? It was, but Rebecca hadn't seen Molly. She had been hiding behind the signal box. Now Molly was beginning to feel nervous about Rebecca. Rebecca is a very big engine. Bigger than I thought. Even bigger than me. Molly was starting to wonder if making friends with her was a good idea. She thought about how big and fast Rebecca was. Suddenly, she felt very scared. No! I can't! I can't be friends with her. She'll make me feel small and tease me for being nervous and shy. Percy was wrong. Me and Rebecca can't be great friends. Oh, come along now, please, Molly. Haven't you learned your lesson about not being in the way by now? Oh, sorry, Spencer. I didn't mean to be in your way. Molly saw the signal and waved a green flag, so she puffed on to the main line. Honestly, some engines never learn. I'll have to try and get back to Natford without Rebecca seeing me. I don't want her to tease me. On her way back, Molly puffed up to a junction to get more water. Murdo was there. He was waiting for Arthur to bring in his trucks to take to the mainland. He was feeling impatient. Ugh, where is that Arthur? I'm going to be late. Hello, Murdoch. Um, are you using the water tower? I need to fill my tender up. Go right ahead, Molly. I'm just waiting for a good strain. Thank you, Murdoch. Molly puffed up to the water tower, but just as the fireman was about to put the hose in her tender, they heard Rebecca's whistle. Oh no! That's Rebecca! I can't let her see me! I need to hide! And quick! Hey! Molly! What are you doing? Molly reversed behind some bears and went on another track, just as Rebecca pulled around the corner. But Rebecca was puzzled. That's strange. I thought I saw another engine here just now. Hello, Murdoch! Did you see another engine here just now? I thought I saw someone else here. Uh, well, there was another engine here, but she's disappeared for some strange reason. Oh? Now that is strange. I wonder why that is. Come on, please, Rebecca. We have to get back to Natford. The fast controller will be waiting for us with your very special job. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, Murdoch. I must go. My special job is waiting for me. Bye, Rebecca. Has Rebecca gone yet? Yes, Bonnie, she has. What's the matter with you? Oh, um, nothing to worry about, Murdoch. Just worry about meeting Rebecca. That's all. Molly, Rebecca is a bad engine. She's a very kind engine, and I'm sure you will be alright meeting her. But Molly wasn't all sure about that. She was feeling more and more worried than ever. Rebecca soon returned to that station. She was still feeling puzzled. Percy was at the platform waiting to leave for the next train. He was surprised to see Rebecca looking worried. Hello Rebecca, have you seen Molly yet? No, Percy. I haven't. I can't find her anywhere. Oh, that's strange. Molly told me she wanted to meet you. I can't think what's got into her. Neither can I. I wonder where she is. 
well, Molly is due to be back here any time now. So you can meet her then. Oh yes, good idea, Percy. I'll just go and fill up with coal and I'll be right back. When Molly returned to the station house, she could see the fat controller waiting for her. Well done, Molly. I hear your delivery to the wharf went very well. You arrived on time and have shown me you are really useful. Thank you, sir. I'm glad I could help out. Now you are back here, I can now give you your special job. Oh, sir. What is it, sir? I have a group of very important visitors going to Olfstead Castle to see the Earl of Sodor. But there will be a lot of them, so I would like you and Rebecca to take them to Olfstead Castle together. Uh, uh, Rebecca, sir? Ah, Rebecca, just in time. You can help Molly take the very important visitors to Olfstead Castle. Oh, yes, sir. Hello, you must be Molly. Very happy to meet you. <laughs> no, 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 I, 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 I can't. Molly? I, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I can't work with Rebecca. I just can't. I'm so sorry. Molly? Molly! Come back! Where are you going? Molly! Wait! Come back! Molly was racing backwards up the line. She was feeling so scared of Rebecca, she couldn't bear to go anywhere near her. I can't face Rebecca. She would tease me and make me feel even smaller than Gordon and Spencer put together. Molly! Where are you going? What's wrong? Molly raced into a good job and sped right past Thomas. Here. Rebecca will never find me here. <sighs> Rebecca? Hello, Thomas. Have you seen Molly anywhere? Yes, she flew right past me. I think she's hiding behind those trucks. Molly? Are you there? I don't want to see you. Why? What have I done? Nothing. But I can't face you. Because you'll make me feel small. What are you talking about? All the big engines make me feel small and nervous. Golden races past with me if I'm not there. Spencer tells me to get out of his way. And James insists as he goes first ahead of me. They make me feel upset. And I'm sure you'll do that too, because you're a big engine, bigger than me, and you'll laugh at me because I'm a very shy engine. Oh Molly, I'm not that sort of engine. I'm a kind and very friendly engine. I don't teach the engines or make them feel small. I see the best in every engine I see. Percy has told me about you and I've been looking forward to seeing you all day. But how can I make friends with you if you don't give me a chance? I'm... I'm just... frightened. There's nothing to be frightened of, Molly. I know I'm a big engine, but I can be a great friend to you. But you can't hide from engines because they're bigger than you. And the Fat Controller has given us a big and special job. And I can't do it on my own. Please, Molly. I need you, and you need me. Please come out of there. I promise I won't upset you. Re Rebecca? Hello, Molly. Hello, Rebecca. Percy was right. You are a shy engine. But you'll be alright with me. Mm. Rebecca and Molly were now on their way back to Mafford Station. As they puffed along, both engines were chatting happily to each other about their first days in Soto. 
I kept arriving early at the stations because I didn't want to be known as a slow coach. But I soon got the hang of the timetables. You must have been nervous too. I was, but I learned that there was nothing to worry about afterwards. I felt the same thing on my first day. I wanted to take full trucks to be useful, not empty trucks. But I learned my mistake and I tried to make my trucks look special with tarpaulins and lanterns. Oh wow! That sounds like a tale! Tell me more! Well, I went through Abbey Station and showed off my trucks to the engines there. And then the wind blew. Both engines return back to the station. That control is waiting for them. What was all that about, Molly? Why did you suddenly race off like that? I'm very sorry, sir. I was... It's nothing to worry about, sir. Molly was just nervous about meeting me for the first time, that's all. But it's all sorted out now, and we're ready to go. <laughs> well... Alright then. Just don't scare me like that again, Molly. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Come on, Molly. Let's go to Olmstead Castle. Right behind you, Rebecca. The two engines were soon puffing happily together with their coaches. They were enjoying themselves so much and were soon laughing and talking together. Thank you for helping me, Rebecca. I'm sorry I hid from you. And I'm sorry for running away from you. That's all right, Molly. I'm glad I was able to help you. But I'm glad we can finally be friends. Well, well, well. Finally learned your lesson, I see, Molly. Now you will definitely think twice before you get in my way again. Uh, uh. Excuse me, Spencer, but I think you owe Molly an apology. It's not nice to speak to engines like that. Especially when they are shy and worried. You wouldn't like it if the Duchess of Boxford spoke down to you like that, would you? Um, no. But I... Then don't speak to my friend like that. Is there something you would like to say to her? Ugh. I'm sorry I was rude to you, Molly. There, that's better. Now I think you need to get going. You are 30 seconds late as it is. Oh, the shame. Oh. Rebecca, you stood up for me. Thank you. Oh, that's all right, Molly. That's what friends do. Then the two engines had to stop at some signals. This was waiting with a good train. He was pleased to see Molly and Rebecca. Molly, Rebecca, you finally met. That's wonderful. Yes, Percy, we have. And you were right. Rebecca is a happy engine with a big heart. I said you two were to make great friends. Thank you for telling me about Molly, Percy. Thanks to you, we are indeed friends. We are indeed. Two yellow friends. Oh, yes we are. Because we're both painted yellow. <laughs> <laughs>